They'll be calling your article, Ken Buser studies out. And I have every right in the world to critique his study as an AML cancer victim, as head of the Atomic Veterans, as my father dead, as my PhD, my path in the bone marrow transplant, everything. And I want to, I agree with a lot of his things that I disagree. And by the way, I do not call him a scientist. Jay Collin are not scientists. None of these guys are scientists. I call them material girls living in a material world. Let's look. Any professor who's got that much of a brain cell knows anytime you do a study of the inset. Okay. Number one, as you go in, the hypothesis, number one is you go into the study. First and foremost, statistics 101. You cannot be biased. That's the number one flaw. I taught right there at the number one school of business in the United States. First MBA from the number one school in the world. It's unarguable. 101. If you go in, so what do you do first? First class, you check who's financing the study. Who's financed my work? People I don't even know. Grassrooters I've never heard of. You know, pe people that I haven't even met. Who's financed his? It's been well documented over and over and over. Well documented. So let's talk about his work. First, the KOK study that was leaked to me that was done in June of 2011. So three sample sets, you got a list of professors this long on there. Only three sample sets? The background study, one, three times the background. Two, 50 times. Third, 1,000 times, okay? 1,000 times. So. If you go along with this new study, you're buying into the thesis that nuclear fallout dilutes. Again, class, let's step into your high school science 101. Let's go to junior high science 101. Class, does nuclear fallout dilute? No. Not in reality. I mean, you want to talk hundreds of thousands of years? Season 137, season 134, the half-life. Let's use the two-year half-life. The two-year half-life. It's been four years. Do not add Ken Buser's study with the kelp study. Now you try to put this in with the kelp study. The kelp study is a different study. And I've argued with him down there at uh, Long Beach State. Look, they said the background study in 2014. Ken Buser at least has background work that he did. Now, don't get me wrong, I agree with a lot of Ken Buser's statements. He says, he caveats the end of every statement, every seminar, everything he does, every time he ever speaks, he says it. Well, in the end, I'm worried about this because it's ongoing and it's getting worse. Now, is that for him to get his next welfare check? Maybe. But the fact is, it's getting worse. So, if you're going to buy into the first study, which I, I, I buy into that first study for the only fact is that it got leaked. And I don't think that intention, again, is Aaron Swartz, let's hide them all at MIT. Oh, where'd he come from? Oh, same playbook, same freaking players. Say master. By the way, they are not scientists. They are not PhDs. Quit calling them scientists. Quit calling them PhDs. What? Because some academia peer review wrote them. Miko Kako says it best. He says it better than anyone. They find me, give me a fellowship, send me to Berkeley when I graduate. They don't ask. They tell me where I'm working. You're working for the nuclear cartel. I live he said it. Threaten me with my life. They're not PhDs. PhD. PhD is sitting a Latin word. It's a Latin word. It's awarded for three years of in the field study. Now, Ken studies, he's doing with his bucket, whatever, these recent studies. How much? Now, okay, so if you're going to buy into Ken's studies, let's talk about if you're going to buy into this study. So if you buy into it, what he's saying is the entire ocean, every square inch of it now is contaminated with Fukushima. Think about that. Think about that. Now, we know the bridge made it. Fish swim, breaking news, tuna swim the Silver Streak. So, fact. We know that these pockets, they dumped. We know they've been dumping the entire time. It's unarguable, it's undeniable. And again, uh, you know, as NATO sued A for slander, of course they threw that out, Nuclear Island. So they threw it out. So as the Japanese current flows into the California current, up into the Gulf of Alaska, down the coast, it's a river. You know, you take a rubber ducky, I want you to throw 100,000 rubber duckies into the ocean in Fukushima, Japan. Where do they end up? They're all going to end up pretty well in the same place. So his study is just going out homogeneous. What it tells me, it tells me that everything, all my worst fears are true. Here's what it tells me. 
It tells me if the entire ocean, he's picking it up in every sample and it's increasing. We're fucked. Everything that I've said, Fuctonium abalco. Because he's obviously not hit a pocket. He said he went over there and they took some samples when they did it, which has been said, when the flood come on the restart of Sendai over there, which they had all kinds of problems and most likely another meltdown happened there. And that's their own words. The seawater clogged it up. They got in a restart phase, whatever they had a problem. How would you know? Nobody knows. And nobody knows because there's nothing coming out of just state secret tact on Balco. So that tells me, here's what it tells me. Fact. Now let's review the facts. Fukushima happens. Ken Buser's study comes out in June. Has to be late. In June of 2011, on the 14th, it blows up again. Video proof of it. The summer of July of 13, it blows up again. Video fuck. But we have unarguable video proof of it blowing up again. We know that the state secrets went in 10 years of prison for even talking. The guy that I used to do the radio show inside Tokyo has been unheard of for over two years. I get leukemia right after. Okay, let's throw that study out, which I can get into that. Everybody who got leukemia, whatever, my fight with leukemia. It's going to give you leukemia, then I got it. My father, the nuked atomic veteran in the Nevada test site, who his sperm was obviously so lit up and contaminated, me mutated, now us children are getting. But that's a whole nother study. We'll stay here with Fukushima. So if Fukushima happens, then it's unarguable. And I said, I apostle the Great Pacific Genocide, the Pacific Genocide is gonna, you know, it's gonna genocide the Pacific Ocean, it's gonna genocide the Pacific Ocean, it's gonna genocide the Pacific Ocean. What has happened since Fukushima happened? The Pacific Ocean has been generous. It's unarguable, unarguable. Collapse in the sardines, collapse in the anchovies, orcas quit mating, otters freaking dying at record fucking numbers. You know, we're going on well beachings in unheard of freaking numbers. It's unarguable. So, mystery disease, scientists are baffled, scientists, because they're not scientists. They're material girls living in a material world. That's exactly what they are. You know, they're material girls living in a material world. Living. That's what they are, the material girls living in a material world. Bought, lock, stock, barrel, paid for. Unarguable. That's an unarguable. Ken Buser, it's unarguable. All of them, who's funded them? It's unarguable. It's well documented who funds them. Again, the fucking study is completely out the door. When I'm sitting there, and a student come in with his big fucking work and his big PH study, and he says, the kelp study, here's how it flawed it is. He made a statement before they even studied, before even they gathered the kelp. He said, we're expecting not to find it. Gone, study over, done, you're biased. Biased study going in, we know psychological, we know history will tell you, any good scientist, any social scientist, any real scientist, anybody with a fucking logic, any PhD knows, over, done. You're biased from the inception. Your work's worthless. He said it on the kelp study. Then they set the background study in 2014. We know the tuna tracer study was picking up fucking showing in San Diego in August of 2011. So, Ken's study, I think what Ken's come up with recently is probably pretty accurate. I think it's not flawed. I think his study's pretty accurate. I think he's going out randomly across San Francisco Bay, whatever, they're just in a boat, they're just taking samples, blah, blah, blah. You know, and they're not, didn't do that many samples and every single fucking sample's increasing with season 130. And they're using season 137 to go back door 134, which again, flawed. Because why? Because it's the half-lives of two years. Well, why aren't they doing plutonium? Why aren't they doing iodine? Why aren't they doing stratinum 90? Why aren't they doing fuctonium? There's plenty of things they could be fucking sample setting. And where is all these marine biologists? Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of marine biologists. You mean to tell me none of these fuckers study the ocean? None of them? Ken says it. You know, so do I dislike Ken? No. I mean, I think Ken, he is who he is. He's you know, At least we got somebody doing some work. And I agree with a lot of his work, by the way. You know, he's a lot more than the rest of these freaking glass houses pricks. At least he's got the balls to show his face, show his name, and put his studies out there. And so, you know, I don't disagree with this study. I think it's probably pretty accurate. And what it tells me, it scares the fuck. I mean, we're fucked. The ocean's fucked. If he's showing every single sample he's picking up are these kind of levels. And do not forget, do not forget, when he says it's this many times under the background levels, do not forget Barry Antoinette, unarguable fact, Gina McCarthy, Crash Red Knight, the EPA, fucking, which she's head of now. What did they do? What was their answer? Raise the legal limits inside the ocean, inside fish, inside on your children. They raised the limit limits four different separate times, thousands of times. Let's put it back. Let's put it back and see where his studies fucking come in. Granted, these numbers are fairly low. 
but they're everywhere. Every square inch of the ocean, so he's picking it up, and we know, like again, the rubber ducky, you know, fish. You know, fish move back and forth, it's just like humans. One of us is gonna get a fucking heavy womb and get fucking leukemia and die, and the next one's not. You know, I call it the reverse lottery. Same with the ocean, you have your fish burgers. We know the ocean's fucking dying, it's unarguable. Unarguable, unarguable, and every single scientist is gonna sit up there and say, and I'm not a scientist. I am not a scientist. I'm a socioeconomist, I'm an AML leukemia fighter, fighter for my fucking life. I'm a humanitarian, I'm a human rights activist. It's unarguable. The Pacific Ocean is in the greatest collapse in fucking history. The greatest fucking event in human fucking history. The great Pacific Genocide. Is a Fukushima? I think it's unarguable. I think it's unarguable at this point. I think Ken's study fucking shows us everything that we see. And then we got all the fear porn freaks out there. These fuckers have ruined this whole fucking genre of YouTube. I mean, go fucking crazy with every fucking psycho fucking thing they could throw Fukushima into. Baby out with a batter. Bookfoot. Fucking meteors. Fucking, you know, fucking earth and Fucking doom James. Bible prophet. It's such fucking bullshit. This is a very real fucking horrible event that's mowing down how many people a fucking day. You know, it's just like the pockets when they came over here. We know right here got hit hammered. I got fucking leukemia after. Now, was I predisposition? Of course. My father's sperm was so lit up he died of leukemia. Got nothing. No medals, anything in fucking America usury. You know, it's fucking unbelievable. But I think the study, what it says to me, we're fucked. The Pacific Ocean is fucked. His study's saying it's everywhere and it's growing. Granted, homogenous. Obviously, he hasn't grabbed a hot pocket. And by the way, my, and I don't know this, and I'll ask him when I see him, and I'll see him, and I'll talk to him. We'll have a cordial conversation. I'll even buy beer, Ken. I'd love to go have a beer with you. You, Jay, any of you. You know, and I would say this to him. I know most statistical professors when they, and scientists, when they do studies, will throw out the highs and the lows. I wonder if that happened, you know, which is very common, and I understand. If he'll did it. I'm wondering if he did get some samples that he caught a very high, you know, an outliner, we call them. What's the outli outliner of autism in Utah? You know, I proved autism is fucking nuclear foul in Utah. I proved it. It's unarguable fucking proof because we look for outliners. There's only one outliner here. There's only one. There's only one. The half-life of plutonium is 24,500 years. Downwinders are not past tense. And the Department of Energy comes out and puts out and this mouthpiece prick's going to fucking speak up here. And, you know, he goes on his solar and he goes on his fucking, you know, everything. And, by the way, Deseret News right here reports California's producing so much solar energy they have nowhere to put it. They're just blocking. It already took the field. Solar could fucking take the whole fucking grid immediately. Right now, we could switch fucking tomorrow and fucking within fucking days, solar would fucking take over all the energy sources. And for real, for real. I was at Diablo Canyon when the one went on in the Mojave. They produced so much, they got nowhere to put it. Technology where you've got tired old arguments. But see, the Department of Energy puts out this map that Barry Antoinette feeds these fucking guys. That they want 40% in small nuclear smoke. Well, small nuclear doesn't matter if it's small, fucking large. Still no answer for the waste. Still fucking outrageously expensive. Still fucking too fucking dangerous. Still the dirtiest, filthiest uranium mine shit fucking storing the fucking waste that ever was. Still fucking so outrageous. The subsidy to nuclear, look it up. 169 billion fucking dollars last year alone. Government taxpayer fucking subsidy. You know, the handout that's going to Fukushima, Japan right now is fucking bigger than the bank bell out. You take solar, wind, all of them, the other 12 that the government subsidizes the United States, times it by 20, you still don't touch nuclear. It's a cash cow rape. So the DOE puts out, we want 40%. So these fucking guys travel around, fucking write books, whatever, and they're so, and by the way, you don't even have to show up and argue with them. There, we have this. We're, they're recording themselves in history. At least Ken's doing some work. I'll, I'll give it to Ken. I, I don't dislike Ken. At least he's out there, and he's got the balls to show his face and present his work. You know, more power to you, Ken. You know, I have the right to argue with you. I have the right to counter you, and you have the right to counter me also. You know, we should do it someday. You and I should sit down in a very cordial way and have a beer and have a moderator, and we should, you know, argue back and forth. We probably both could learn a lot, but I think we both agree. I think this makes Ken and I both agree 100% that... It's getting worse, and it's everywhere, and there's no shutting it off. You know, just like, if it's getting worse, like he says, that means they haven't accomplished anything over there. So what's going to be in 10 years? What's going to be to TEPCO's own words? We're relying on further technology to turn this off. So you want to build more. You want to keep going with this to fuck. Anybody that fucking says anything fucking positive about fucking nuclear after post Fukushima is fucking mentally ill, insane, fucking dumber than fucking 
Well, what an insult to dirt. Stay in tune it. Material girls living in a material world. That's what they are. I'm not talking about Ken. I'm talking about all the other ones. They say they're scientists. At least he shows his mug. At least he's got the balls to go out there. Stay in tune it.